Um, I, got, I like to look at data analytics as literally like the GPS to my business, right? So if I'm looking at my data and my analytics, it's going to literally tell me what my audience likes and what they don't like. So if I'm noticing that I'm continuously posting the same piece of content again and again and nobody's liking it, maybe we should stop creating that piece of content, right? Last Christmas, I gave you my heart the very next day. Hey y'all, hey, it's Joya Monet, back to y'all with another video. Y'all, I am actually headed to Jacksonville right now. I'm driving from Tampa to go speak at an event. So I'm like, let me go ahead and take y'all along the journey. And also welcome back to another episode of Vlogmas. Y'all, I ain't gonna lie to y'all, I've been kind of like on and off my little grind when it comes to um, Vlogmas. And the reason why is because there is such a big shift happening in my life right now so to the point where it's like i just need that time to kind of kind of just sit back and reflect on just everything that god is really about to reveal in my life right now and filming for vlogmas is kind of hard while still trying to sit in the shift and figure out what this shift is going to be because i don't know what kind of content i should be creating moving forward because of this shift so I love road trips like this. I used to do road trips like this all the time when I was back in college. And, oh, I miss just driving alone. Just you, yourself, and your thoughts. And you're just on the road. Like, I miss it so much. And this has been, like, I think I have really haven't even driven and did, like, a road trip in, like, a really, really long time since I graduated. But, anywho, when you do road trips like this, y'all, like, it is so good to actually just sit and to reflect and to literally, I don't have no music on. I haven't had music on since I got on the road and I've been on the road for almost an hour and a half. Like, it has just been me and my thoughts and just talking to God and just like everything, y'all. I am trying not to get emotional right now, but whew, the clarification I just got um the business ideas i just got are insane i am claiming it i wasn't gonna say it right now because i'm like what if it doesn't happen i'm claiming that 2024 i'm gonna touch a million dollars i'm claiming it and i mean that with every single thing in my bones and in my body god has literally given me such a crystal clear vision as it relates to what i should be doing and what my next moves are going to be and it's so crazy how God works is because, man, that's why you really just got to start whatever it is you got to start because the thing that you start may not even be the thing that you do 10 years from now. But if you don't start, you got to start getting you, you got to start getting things in order. Like, uh, it's so crazy because like if y'all know my story, I started off with doing YouTube for a long time on and off, really. Um, throughout college and then of course like post-grad when I was living in, in New York like I've always had a dream for content creation like I love content creation so much it's just so powerful I love just creating some I love the editing process of it like I just love content creation so y'all know I also went and started my online boutique wanted wardrobe in February of 2020 like right before the pandemic happened had my boutique for about maybe what two and a half three years um, and it did very, very well, but it was just something that God was just pulling me. And he's like, this is like, this was just your stepping stone, right? Like, this is just something I just needed you to do so that way you were, you were able to see that it was possible. So of course, y'all know I closed my boutique now earlier this year and I've been focusing a lot more on coaching, but recently, Ooh, this is crazy. Y'all recently I have gotten just this urge, like, the co coaching is something that I love to do and I feel like it's something that I'll never stop doing because I am so gifted at teaching and making the more most intricate things, putting it into layman terms and really just allowing my audience to actually know what it is that I'm talking about. And I feel like that's, a, that's one of the ways that I've been able to stand out as a creator and also as a coach is I can make high level um, strategies putting them into layman terms so that way even a third grader can go through and understand it but one thing that i'm in the season of doing right now is i am literally thinking about coaching from a whole nother lens from a whole nother category outside of just boutiques 
and outside of e-commerce because that's not the industry that I'm in anymore. And it's so heartbreaking to leave an industry that you spent so much time developing in, but it's also so beautiful because God literally put me in that position so that way I'm able to transition into something different and into something new by still using the same skills and the same assets from the position that I already was in. So, uh, without saying too much, y'all, 2024 about to be a shift. Like, it's going to be a shift for all, a lot of us. If you are still working your 9 to 5, I promise y'all, if you put that work in, you are gone. Like, oh, you are gone, you are gone, you are gone, you are gone. You are, you are literally working in your divine purpose if you put the work into it, y'all. And, oh, I am so excited for this new journey that I'm about to embark on. Um, I am so excited about it. Um, I'm trying not to tell y'all what it is because I gotta make sure, like it's, it's so easy to kill a baby when it's at infant stage. I gotta make sure that I get this, this baby, this idea to at least a little bit of a toddler stage before I decide to share it with y'all. And I feel like that's something I'm gonna be more intentional about doing this year too, is I'm not really sharing anything anymore. I don't think I want to share anything anymore. I'm, I'm going to give you just a little bit so that way you can kind of see what it is that I'm doing and what it is that I'm working on. But I have no desire to share. I just want y'all to see it. I want you guys to be a part of it. But man, oh man, does it make me nervous? Absolutely. I am, ooh, these cars are driving real fast. I am extremely nervous for this next chapter, but I am so excited because the transformation that a lot of people are going to receive is going to be groundbreaking. Like the transformation that I'm going to receive just by being the operator of this train <laughs> is going to be crazy. It's going to be wild. And man, God is just, ooh, you got to spend that quiet time with yourself. And I feel like this is the most quiet time that I've spent with myself in like a long time. Like, like literally no music. No cell phone, because I'm driving, right? No music, no cell phone. Just pure you and your thoughts. Man, I don't I don't I'm not I don't like driving long distances, but the but the power of just escaping and taking your mind from from the from the hustle and bustle of just every day is crazy because like I'm driving, right? Like there's nothing that I can really do. But look at the cars in front of me and just really be in my thoughts and really just pray and really just talk to God. And man, I needed this. I really needed, I really needed this. Like y'all know if y'all been watching Vlogmas and stuff, like I really been, my mindset has, has already been shifting. I, I went to go see that Beyonce movie, y'all, and it just completely transformed my thought process as it relates to just life and, and just so many different things. And it, it, and it just made me want to work harder. It made me, ooh, we. It just made, it just made me want to just go times ten, times a hundred. And then sitting here and thinking about the amazing things that I know God is about to do in my life is crazy, y'all. Like, and the, and the thing is that I want a lot of people to understand is this don't got nothing to do with me. It has everything to do with how I'm going to be able to impact hundreds of thousands of people who are trying to do something and, and make something of themselves as well and I personally have never seen anything like what I'm trying to do I've seen people do like little bits and pieces but holistically as a whole I haven't seen it so I'm really excited about that man and I know like this is just just an idea that I've been pondering on for probably like the maybe the last few weeks maybe the last week to be honest probably not even a few weeks probably like the last week and to actually like see and hear God give me the vision because one thing that I that I did like I'm like I'm all over the place y'all because I'm just like so antsy and excited but I was like listening to a podcast um like not too long ago when I was just on the road and I just turned the podcast off because ideas just started to flow um so when I'm just speaking, I'm just speaking out what I literally want to do. Like, okay, we're going to do this. We're going to do this. Like, I'm literally speaking it out of my mouth to myself. And more ideas come to me while I'm speaking. Like, it's not even things that I've brainstormed or things that I've saw before. But just things that I'm just speaking out have come to life. Or not come to life yet. But 
have just like come out of my mouth and it's just so crazy like crazy y'all but yes i am about to continue to focus on the road um i'm gonna take you guys with me like i said to jacksonville to this event i am speaking today about content creation and also about um influencing at an event called manifesting over mimosas by my good friend tia coleman um we are headed to jacksonville the event is from three to seven it is about to be 12 right now my eta is 151 so I got about two more hours on the road or whatever. Um, and then I'll be in Jacksonville. But I'm excited to spend these next two hours on the road. Because if I rain snore that much in an hour and a half, technically, like, woo, God about to really show me some things, y'all. Like, man, this is about to be crazy. Like, this is literally, I am manifesting this. And I'm so excited that I'm going to this event right now because I'm already feeling good. It's nothing like the feeling of being in a room surrounded by people who also want to get it. Also, people who just want more out of life themselves. Like, this is about to be crazy, y'all. So, I'm really excited about it. Make sure you guys go through and continue to tune into the rest of the video. So, yes, we are headed to Manifesting Over Mimosas, and I will see you guys when we get there. Hey, y'all. So, we are about 20 minutes out from the convention center where the event is going to be held at and i just had to come on here because i really want to show y'all i don't know where it went oh there it is right there it's a rainbow out here need need do i need any more confirmation <laughs> do i need any more confirmation y'all i don't know if y'all will be able to see it let me see if i can move my camera so that way y'all will be able to see i don't think y'all can y'all will be able to see it but there is a whole rainbow while I'm driving. And I'm also listening right now to Megan Ashley and Crystal Renee's um, podcast episode. And they're talking about transformation. They're talking about hope. They're talking about new beginnings. And of course, we all know like rainbows, they signify hope, transformation, new beginnings. And uh, do I need any anything else to show me that god is real like god is amazing y'all amazing like mm, 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 mm. Woo! so yeah let me get back to listening to this podcast episode because it's so good i might just actually link that podcast episode down below so that way y'all can actually go through and check it out if i don't if i do forget to link it um uh, make sure you guys go through just type in um crystal renee let me see what her um podcast name is crystal renee um halitz halitz i believe is her last name crystal renee halitz um she did a podcast episode with megan ashley which was she was formerly a host for um the no for sure podcast and talk about like if y'all watch that podcast episode just get your your tissue ready there should absolutely i commented on it because i never comment on stuff for youtube videos y'all but i just commented and I said, there should have been a notification or a warning on the screen that said, please make sure you have tissue uh, like readily available. It, it's a must. You need tissue to watch the episode. But yeah, I just had to come on here and tell y'all that real quick because, wow. And the rainbow is still right here. I really want y'all to be able to see. Let me see if I can just turn the full camera. Hopefully y'all should be able to see it right there. The rainbow. Hopefully y'all can see it. But my goodness guy is absolutely amazing y'all so yeah i'm about to pay attention to the road i got about 20 i got about 17 minutes so i get to the convention center where the event will be held at but i do got to stop by walgreens um because i forgot eyelashes and then i want to get a new sd card for this camera because i want to get a ton of footage um from the event and everything like that and just like be vlogging and you know all the different things there too so um, we are about to pay attention to the road, <laughs> and I will see y'all here in just a second. We made it, we made it, we made it, we made it, we made it. Y'all, we made it to Jacksonville. So I am um, about to get out of the car right now and head into um, Walgreens, because I got to get some eyelashes, because I ain't got no eyelashes, y'all. I look crazy. And then I also got to get um, a new SD card to go inside of y'all. This camera that I'm on. Oh my goodness. It is raining. 
Ooh, let's try to hurry up. All right, let's see if I can get in and out really quickly. Eyelashes, eyelashes, eyelashes. I literally just need like one pair. Nothing crazy, just one pair. Uh, I don't like any of these. I guess I can get these. Right here. I'll get these. All right, y'all. So we just made it to the event. I am kind of like low key nervous to go in there as I am because it looks like as soon as you walk in, it's people and I see vendor tables and stuff set up. And I know that the event hasn't started yet because it starts at three. But I don't know if I want to walk in there yet looking like this. So I'm going to at least try to finish up my makeup. And so that way, the only thing that I got to do when I get in there is just like get dressed and stuff like that. Um, and then I'll probably keep my pin curls in too. And then if I need to come back to the car for anything, I'll just come back. But I just don't want to go in there looking like this just yet. <laughs> I feel like I look crazy. I don't got it. Like literally look at me. I look insane. So I'm about to just sit in here and um, just dab up and finish up my makeup. I had just went to Walgreens and got some eyelashes. I must have went to the Walgreens in the hood, y'all, because it was real sketch, okay? Like, I done been some places now, but it was definitely giving sketch. And you know, anytime that you downtown anywhere, downtown is always right next to the hood. So I can't, I definitely knew that it was going to be like that for sure. For sure. But we are here. I parked over here. I guess this is like the... Uh, speaker sponsor workers type of parking lot so i'm over here parked um and i'm just touching up my makeup now about to pop these eyelashes on the eyelashes that i ended up getting y'all are not cute these are what they look like they are literally like the most basic pair of eyelashes ever so it'll do because i'm actually probably gonna end up putting my eyelash extensions back on when i get back home tomorrow night um so yeah I am really hoping that I have enough willpower to get back on the road tonight and head back home because I'm really, really, really not trying to stay tonight in Jacksonville. Like, I'm really not. I really want to go home tonight. So we're going to see how the event play out and all the things. But I'm really excited to see everyone that um, comes. Um, I know a lot of my subscribers and supporters um, are going to be here too. A couple of them sent me some DMs and said, oh my gosh, we can't wait to see you. So I'm really excited for the event. I got to be really careful with these lashes though because this is all I got, okay? I break these. You are SOL unless you want to go back to the store and I really don't. <laughs> so I need to be as careful as I can. So yeah, I'm about to pop these lashes on and then I'm going to see what all I can get done. Um, oh, some more people walking in now. I'm going to see what all I can get done um, by just sitting in the car and getting it done. So that way I'm not like embarrassing myself walking in there trying to get do stuff. You know what I mean? But I mean, I feel like people know you coming off the road, coming to an event. So they shouldn't care. You know? But hey, you never know. So let me go ahead and actually use this glue. I'm about to use the Foscara glue. You actually are not supposed to use this glue for with for strip lashes, but this is all I got, okay? And since this is all I got, this is all we're going to use. So let me put this all on here like so. And then I'm also going to use my liner glue too. For just that extra level of security. But yes, y'all, I'm so excited about this event. I love speaking like I told y'all, it is my mission and my duty to speak at at least one event every single month um, next year. So we're getting our start this year. Um, next year, I'll probably be speaking at Magic. I was I was stuttering to get that out because I'm like, should I announce to everyone that I'm speaking at Magic again? Um, I don't know if I'm speaking actually, but I'll be, I'll be attending Magic again this year as a brand ambassador. Um, so I'm really excited about that, y'all. That's going to be crazy again. Like... I got that email and I was just like, again? 
Me? Okay, it's lit. Of course I'll be there. And not only, y'all, did they invite me to Magic Miami, they invited me to Magic, all of the Magics, uh, for the first half of the year. Y'all know Magic does, like, twice uh, twice per year, basically. Um, they do t two schedules, rather, per year. So I got invited to the Winter Spring um, Magic shows. So if y'all gonna be at Magic, make sure you meet me there because I'm gonna be there for sure. Um, it is always so hard for me to do eyeliner on this eye. Like this eye, I always do my eyeliner with my eye open. This one, I have to do my eyeliner with my eye shut. All right, perfect. Got my eyelashes on. Oh, I hate wearing lashes because it just makes you so like sniffy. the cheese danish that i bought <laughs> on the way here yeah i like just started eating mm, so good too mm. where have cheese danishes been y'all and yes i know i'm eating starbucks i had a gift card so nobody come for me because y'all know i said i'm not supporting starbucks due to the whole entire genocide them supporting the genocide so nobody come for me i bought it with a gift card so technically i ain't buy it, it ain't getting none of my money so yeah. Oh, Tia over here driving her um Tia over here driving her Swedish sister's truck and she got a whole plant event. Huh. Mm. Just cleaned up my makeup. And I'm making a mess. But alright, y'all. I will see y'all once I get inside and put on my clothes. Where is the um changing room? You can go in my room. Right here? Yeah, and it's like across the way. This one right here? Yeah, you can just go in this one. They'll show you. That's okay. Um, I'm Treya. I'm just going to change. Oh, come over here. In this room. Okay. But it is a bathroom too. Oh, right here? Yeah, it's small. But okay. I don't know what you can do. Speaker. Mm -hmm. Are you from? Where are you from? Tampa. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yup. So it took me about, I literally just got off the road as soon as I got here. So oh, it probably okay. took me maybe three, three and, and a half hours. hours. Yeah. I'm just happy it wasn't all that rain like yesterday. Thank you, God. Yesterday was a lot. It, and this morning it was kind of raining here real yeah. bad. I only got stuck in the rain for probably about 10, 15 minutes. Oh, that was a blessing. Thank mm -hmm. you, God. Hey, y'all. We are nice and dressed. So I am going back to the car. This is my outfit. I gotta get um my makeup bag out of here. And I gotta hide my purse. Cause y'all need to make sure that you're hot in your purse when you go to places, okay? So I'm gonna leave that there. I'm gonna put a bag on top of that. I need to grab this. Actually, let me need to do one thing at a time put my spare outfit in here i was gonna wear the outfit that i got from um modernish but the fit didn't fit right when i tried it on and i didn't like the way it looked with the tank top next time i wear it i gotta make sure that i bring boot tape and stuff so that way i can wear it without the boot tape um so i'm gonna do that next time oh i feel like i got a thousand things in my hands so all right got my makeup got my lip gloss so let's get back inside and that should be the last time I gotta come back to my car. So yes, I gotta show y'all like the whole fit once um we get inside. But yes, the turnout looks so good. I'm gonna show y'all like when I walk in right now, so that way y'all can see it. Let me see if I can turn the camera. Let's see, there we go.
Hey, are, hi. Are you a speaker? A speaker, or? yes. Okay, yes. Lady. Thank you. All right. Thank you. Yeah. I just got it. Feel free to text me. Yeah. I'm gonna go over to the DJ in like two minutes. Okay. Cool. And you wanna come out last? Yeah. And I'm gonna um text you my song too. Okay. Are y'all gonna sing Kimmel? Yeah. Yes. Love it. Good to see you. Yes. Okay. You made it. Bless Troy Young. Troy, how you doing? Hi. I'm doing good. How you feeling today? I'm doing good. Y'all wanna say hey to my blog? Mm -hmm. Let's do it. Hello. Hello. Oh, you ain't ready yet? Yeah, ready yet. <laughs> <laughs> but, but you can do your yeah, thing. Yes, yes, thing. yes, yes. What we doing here today? Are you ready for I'm that? Ready. I'm, I'm ready. I'm too. always ready, though. I like to be that. To like be that. honest. They say if you stay ready, you ain't got to. You ain't got to get ready. Let's do it. Let's, let's do, do it. it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Okay. I'm Okay, 
All right, we're going to have a good time. I am Tori Lundy, also known as Mandatory. I'm your host for this afternoon. People are out here talking about their eyelash, and they making $1,000 saying that they blink. And see how the beautiful, I just met this young lady, honey. She was getting content, curling her hair, content, putting on her lashes. She put a lotion on, she was getting the content for the lotion. I said, wow, I am losing. Get ready with me to a whole other level. She ain't bringing her own camera. Let me tell you, this was serious. Y'all make some noise for Troy and Lil' Man. So that they can bring in work more revenue because as a business, that's exactly what we want to do with our clients. You know, those those shares, those comments, things that don't actually put money into your business. Because who paying bills off of likes and comments in here with their business? Not one of us, right? <laughs> paying a few off of them. I got you. But you make money now. Yeah, yeah. You make money off of like those comments. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you're right, you're right. So you do get paid for those likes and stuff. Sustain, sustaining those business. Yeah, you know. yeah. So make sure mm -hmm. you're still posting because some platforms do post you for your likes and your comments. Mm -hmm. That's good, that's good. So speaking of likes and comments, that brings us to like analytics. Looking at the analytics, do y'all you, you use any analytical apps to help you understand your content more? So I'm an Instagram girl. So I, I just got 72,000 followers yesterday, so thank you so much, right? Nice. Um, and you need to look at your analytics, so Instagram actually tells you who's following you, what percentage of women versus men, um, what time you have the highest engagement, and that's literally on your social media, and you can also see your, your insights which is also on your reel or your video, it would show you what time, who was looking at you, what percentage, and where they're located. Because you always want to know where your followers are located as well. That's good. What you think? Um, I, I like to look at data analytics as literally like the GPS to my business, right? So if I'm looking at my data and my analytics, it's going to literally tell me what my audience likes and what they don't like. So if I'm noticing that I'm continuously posting the same piece of content again and again and nobody's liking it, maybe we should stop creating that piece of content, right? right. <laughs> if I create another piece and I'm noticing, okay, I'm getting a little bit more engagement, I'm getting a little bit more likes, then I'm going to continue to create the content that I know what's working. And I feel like a lot of us aren't looking at our data and our analytics, and we're thinking that Instagram has a shadow ban. You're not shadow ban. You're just creating content that nobody interacts with because they don't like it, and they also aren't being, they aren't able to engage with it as well. That, that's good. Now, if they're not engaging with the content, what stuff do you take to pivot that content to something more engaging? Okay. So what I usually do is just because you're not getting likes or shares or comments. One time you post something, don't stop posting it. I like to at least try to post a piece of content anywhere between 10 to 12 more times before I actually go through and cut it out to make sure that it actually is performing good. So that's usually what I'll do is I'll like just go through and I'll see and I'll continue to post it again and again because maybe that one piece of content style they just didn't like. So you can't just stop there with just creating it one time. You got to continue to create it again and again so that way you can see if it actually even works in the first place. That's good. That's good. What's your pivot strategy? I also re repurpose my content too. So repurposing content is just means like let's say you did a video and you was saying something on the video before but nobody really liked it or talked about it. You can actually take that same video and just change what you um, put on that video. So you could be educating somebody about something in that video and then it goes viral. So like for example, I made a video just showing my waist trainers and it had 26 million views literally and it's just a plain old video that I haven't posted before it never really got anything but now I changed the trending sound I changed what I said about it and then it went viral so you don't have to always create new 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 content you can repurpose your content 
And speaking of repurposing, when it comes down to social media site, ladies, what social platforms are y'all on? Do y'all utilize all the social platforms or do you kind of focus on particular ones? So I'm on I'm on Instagram, I'm on Facebook, I'm on YouTube, and I'm also on TikTok. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm an Instagram girl, but I'm also more, I would say TikTok too. It's like Instagram and TikTok are my biggest ones that I focus on. Perfect. For me, I'm also on um, TikTok, Instagram, and my main platform is YouTube. Um, I feel like when you're trying to figure out what platform to go through and use, you definitely want to figure out where your target audience hangs out the most. According, Usually it's according to like their age range. So like TikTok will usually be for like people who are like Gen Z, um, usually anywhere between maybe under like 25, if you're maybe 25 to maybe 35, it'll be um, around Instagram and then usually uh, anywhere above that, I know Facebook is usually pretty popular there as well. That's good, that's good. And just to kind of give them some free gems right now, let's talk about some apps, because we're, we're, we want to stay consistent, we want to fit this content creation within our lifestyle. What apps are you guys using to help that process? So I like to use Capca and InShot. Those are my two apps. Um, but you really could just do Instagram. Instagram, you can create your reels, and now Instagram has a way that is like a template. So if you're scrolling and you see a template in the left corner that someone else already used, all you're doing is adding your photos and it literally creates the reel for you in like less than five seconds. That's good, what about you? Um, so I use Capca as well. That's one of the main apps that I use for like TikTok and also Instagram. And then also when it comes to YouTube, I'll use iMovie or I'll use Five Cut Pro. That's good. And what about Opus? Y'all use Opus? Yeah, Opus is definitely dope. That's good. What does Opus do? So Opus, you can actually upload a video of, let's just say somebody recording this whole thing. What Opus would do is it will literally take clips of the video and create a promotional reel for you. And literally, like, and they'll give you like 10 or 20 different options. You can just use whatever you want from the option. So that would be like your promo video. So you don't have to do anything. It literally does everything for you. That's good. That's good. And listen, we only have a few more minutes left. Do y'all want to give somebody a chance to make some superior content right now? We only have enough to pick two people, but let's pick two people, two business owners to come up here and tell us about their business so that we can hold your phone for you so you can get this exclusive MOM stage content. Let's pick them. Yes, let's do it. All right, so is there any service providers? Any service providers? Okay, point us out. Oh, she's the first one, one right here in the green. Oh, and she's coming right here. Yeah, we go right here. All right. Hey, right. y'all give her a hand. Give her a hand. Right here. Yeah. Hey, so I am officially back in Tampa from the event in Jacksonville, y'all. I ain't gonna lie to y'all, I am incredibly tired, but I wanted to just do an event recap while I'm still on like a little bit of a high from the event. Y'all, definitely an amazing event. Shout out to my girl Tia. Like, you killed it. I am like legit so proud. I like feel like I'm such a water bag at times, y'all. I'm like the most emotional emotionless person um but like just seeing her receive all of her flowers of you know all the amazing things that she's done over the years with manifesting over mimosas was so inspiring like i am so inspired by her as relates to just community and i'm not talking about community as relates to just like your own personal community i'm talking about like having the city behind your back is like something that i really admire about her because man when I tell you like Jacksonville show up and show out for her like it was just amazing to see and amazing to witness um so the event was amazing you guys I met some of the most amazing people um shout out to um I believe her name is Tanisha um Tori she was the host and then I also linked up with Stephanie um me and her were on the same panel together I'm pretty sure you guys have seen that by now um inside of the clips as well but it's just amazing to see y'all like it's just amazing being around people who get it being around people who are just like-minded um being around women who you know really want more for themselves like my girl nika was there y'all nika got an 850 credit score like literally a perfect score i believe stephanie does too but just being around women who want more is so inspiring you guys like i challenge all of you guys in 2024 please make it your priority to get in the room if you are trying to 
you know, do whatever it is to grow your business, to scale, to, you know, whatever it is that you feel like you want to go through and do, you can do it. You just got to get around other people who are doing it because sometimes all it takes is for you to see it. And I feel like that's the reason why I like getting in the room with people who are at higher levels than me is because all I got to do is see that it's possible and I can see you with it or I can see you doing whatever it is that I want to go through and do. And now I know that it's possible. Now I know that I can go out there and do whatever it is, right? So all in all, an amazing event. Shout out to all of you guys who came up to me, approached me and was like, oh my gosh, I watch your YouTube channel or, you know, I've been following you for so long. Um, it's just amazing to see you guys. One of the girls, um, she made her business looks amazing. Her branding is so on point. It's so consistent. Um, I forget the name of it, but I'm pretty sure I put it in. Some, I, I filmed her um, table at the at the vendors event, so um, I'm pretty sure I'll insert you know that footage um, inside of the, the inside of this video. I'm pretty sure y'all seen it by now. But just like seeing people that I've impacted in real life like it that that feeling never gets old so that's why i always get confused when people are like oh yeah i met such and such celebrity and she was me or i met such and such influencer and she was me i'm like man how are y'all mean to these people that y'all are meeting like that's just crazy all in all but anywho you guys it was an amazing event overall i am headed home i still got about maybe 15 20 minutes until i get home but I just want to say thank y'all so much for just listening and just being a part of my journey. Um, I feel like if I haven't said said it enough or if I've never been grateful enough, I'm definitely grateful 100%, y'all. Like, this next year is is literally, I keep saying this, this next year is for the elites. Like, man, if you ready to work, tap in with me, send me a DM. I'm ready to work with people who want to work. I don't want to work with nobody that don't want to work. I am so tired of spinning my wheels and, you know, coaching people who don't want who don't want to do it, but they like the way it looks. You know what I mean? So I want to work with the elite. I want to work with the people who want to work. But all in all, you guys have an amazing night. I am headed home and I will see you guys in the next episode of Vlogmas. Peace.